Blogging, how to set up a quick and easy blog in minutes using Blogger. This is how to set up a quick and easy blog in minutes using Blogger. First, you go to blogger.com. Once you're there, you click the Create a Blog button. This will prompt you to create a Google account. So once you're here, you will enter your email address, and this is just an email address that you already have. Retype your address. You'll put in your password for your Google account, not your email address. Retype it. Display name, whatever you'd like it to show as. I just use my name, Carl Kaska, all one word. And then type in the word verification and accept the terms. Then you'll continue. And since I've already done this, and if you already have a Google or a Gmail account, then you'll simply sign in first. But I just wanted you to know that you usually have to set up a Google account first. After you have your Google account, or after you've signed in to your Gmail or Google account, then you go on to step two, which is name your blog. So you want to put a little bit of thought into this, but just know that you can always rename it. So don't spend an awfully long time trying to decide what your blog title should be as you can change it later. So for this one, I'll just call it Amazing Online Marketing Success. And then we can check for that availability. And always remember that when you check these different blog names, they will actually be showing in most cases in lower case. So make sure that however it looks, it looks okay in all in lower case. And what we find is that this blog address is available, so we can proceed on and enter in the secret letters. This is my toughest part, being colorblind. We'll give that a try. And you do have advanced options of hosting your blog, which I would recommend against doing at this point, as later when you're perhaps a more advanced blogger and you want to perhaps move your blog over to another platform like WordPress.org, then it will be easier to bring it over if it's just in the usual blogger.com site as this one would be. So I would recommend against hosting it anywhere else. And also, we're not really importing another blog or else uh, you've already done this. So let's continue on. And at this point in step two, we will choose a template. So you pick one that you think looks nice and would seem to be the type of look that you would like to have for your blog. So you can just scroll down and see which that they have here. Just pick something you feel looks nice. And any of these look fine to begin with. I'll just start with this one and continue. And as we see, our blog has been created. So we're done. Well, not quite. You actually can go in and start blogging. And so it takes you right to our Amazing Online Marketing Success blog and to the Create a Blog Post title. Now, before we do this, and we won't really publish a post today. I'll show you more about this later. But all you would do is enter in a title, enter in some text, which you can format and add links to, and then you'll go down and click Publish Post. And if you don't want to publish it right away, you can save it and come back and publish it later. So that's the basic thing about that. But let's go to Settings. And what you'll notice is there are a number of settings in here. As I mentioned before, you have your title. You'll want to go and add a description of what your blog is about. And I highly recommend that you do this. It's good for search engine optimization purposes as well as for others to find your blog. And then do you want to have your blog listed blog 
And then, do you want to add your blog to our listings? You bet. Absolutely, you want to do that so that you can be found easier. And let search engines find your blog. I know, these seem r ridiculous, but of course, yes, I want to be found. Show quick editing, sure, why not? Show email post links, and you don't really have to do that. So show compose for all blogs, I have that down as a yes. And enable transliteration, you don't really need that right now. So you go ahead and save your settings down at the bottom. And then those will be there. And then you can go on to each of the settings and just make sure that they're set the way that you want them to be. So for publishing, this is where you could actually change the address. And as they say, that's subject to availability. And then you type in the secret word and then you save your settings. So as I mentioned, all of that was changeable. On formatting, you can just take a look and make sure that all of these settings are your time zone and they're set up the way that you would like them to be for your default language and other things as you will use them. And I would pretty much accept the defaults on these, except for your time zone. And for comments, I would definitely show comments and you can have anyone basically be the one who can who can post if you are okay with anonymous users it might be a little safer to use registered users and so that's what i would recommend and embedding the comments below the posts is the default and i would stick with that and basically everything else here is is fine or should be fine but as i mentioned you can go in and and change all of these things and then on archiving you get to choose whether you want it to be archived weekly monthly daily so you can do that i check monthly because that's consistent and standard throughout most websites and enable the post pages because that will allow each of your posts to have a unique web page and that'll make it easier if you link to them in other blog posts or in emails that you send to people. Now let's go to the Layout tab and we'll see what's there. So you will see that you can add and arrange page elements. You have your blog post set up to be right here. You've got your title up above. You can add gadgets either on the right or down below. And what you can do is go into and so once you go into configure header, then you have your blog title, which you definitely want to have. Again, if you don't have a description here, you will want to add one for what your blog is about. And then you can bring in an image or from the web to have something that'll be that'll look nice that's up in the masthead for your blog. So that way it'll have a nice look and feel to it and then you can say where to place it and then you can save where that is but you can also go in and edit the fonts and colors the HTML pick a new template so you have quite quite a few possibilities so here we're viewing our blog and it looks pretty nice but you can see we don't have any followers yet and you get to put in a profile about yourself as well, which is a good thing with your Google account. So that way it's all other ways for you and your business to be found and things about what you're doing for your business to be found so that they can draw people back to your web page, which you would have under your profile. Well, that's all for now. Basically what we've done is we have created a quick and dirty blog so you can just go in at this point and you can click new post and you could be on your way posting a new blog post in literally minutes so you can either do what i just did or you can click on posting create and you're here that's it that's how to blog take care have a great day this is Carl Kaska, and I hope this has been helpful.